Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Uh, today we'll continue uh, financial modeling of an auto repair uh, business idea from scratch. Um, at the last video, we, uh, we've created uh, a step-by-step -step reaching of planned revenues, uh, block of inputs, and now it's time to create the timeline and put these values inside the timeline and then um, uh, create the revenues uh, with, uh, with these coefficients and direct expenses with uh, also these uh, coefficients linked. So, um, first of all, let's create the timeline. Timeline. Um, so, the first year is uh, 2022. Um, format cells. So we have a 10 year um, horizon. So this will be, this will end at DQ column, DQ, here it is. Um, November, December, then this one plus one. this one plus one November December so this is 23 then 24 24 25 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 31 so so this is 2022 this is 23 23 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and the finally 30, 31. Okay, we are done with timeline. So first of all, we have to um, we have to uh, find the moment when we start operating activity. So operating activity. So we are searching for the first month when we start getting the revenues. So if and this value equals to this value freezing the cell and this month equals to th this month freezing this cell then we place one otherwise zero
So here in September we have the first moment when we start operating activity. Next step. Uh, then we create the operating activity 01 level. 0, 1, 0 means that we don't have operating activity at this moment and 1 means that we do have operating activity at this moment. So the formula will be the following. Next step, um, as we have here the months from 1 to 12 and, and assign them percentage values. So now we have to, um, to count the months of operating activity. This will be the first month, this will be the second month, this will be the third month. And then we will assign 5% to this month, 10% to this month, 20% to this month and so on. So the next step will be uh, assigning numbers to the months of operating activity. Now uh, our next step is uh, assigning these percentages to this month, this percentage to this month and so on. So for that purpose we will use a formula if if this one equals to zero then zero if if this equals to one we put this value So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, more than twelve. And then B, here if 2, then C, C, D, E, F, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, F, G, G, H I J J K L M and 
finally end. So let's uh, make it uh, percentage format. So now we have our percentages assigned. So um, what we will do now? Um, we will create a seasonality. Season seasonality block. Seasonality block. Here we have the typical year. Typical year. Revenue and direct cost. Seasonality. So here we will place the percentage format. These will be the inputs, so we mark them with specific color. For example, um, so for example, we may have some decline in revenues in summer and increase in revenues. So the hundred percent will be uh, January. January, February, March, April, then May will be, for example, 90, June 70, here will be 50, uh, then uh, 60, 80, and 100%. So we will have some decline in revenues in uh, May till September. So let us assume the seasonality in revenues. And now what we will do next. So we will copy this timeline. Step one. Expenses step one. Revenues. Expenses. Seasonality. So revenues we will take from here direct expenses we will take from here seasonality we will take from here then let's extrapolate these values here
and now we will assign these coefficients to these values so this will be our next step Step 2, step 2, revenue, direct expenses, and what we will do, we take this value and multiply it uh, on this coefficient. So this will be, um, we're multiplying this coefficient, then um, extrapolating this story to direct cost also So now we can see how revenues and direct expenses are growing slowly, reaching uh, step by step uh, the planned values. So it's in September, for example, in September our planned plan values um, are like this and this. but during the first September our operating activity will have only these values there will be 5% uh, um, of um, uh, what is of, of, um, of the planned uh, values of revenues and direct expenses this is um, very important because when we start playing with these coefficients with these um, steps of reaching uh, the revenues the planned revenues um, we can calculate more accurately the amount of operating losses that also will form the capacity of financing needed for our business idea because when you finance your business idea your total financing uh, is not only the investment uh, on the investment stage before we start operating activity your total financing consists of uh, the investments before operating activity and uh, I, uh, also it includes operating losses during the first months uh, when the revenues are, are low but we have uh, fixed costs we have payroll we have different different other uh, expenses uh, not also direct expenses but we also have fixed cost rent payroll and so on so on and the total and here we may have uh, a sufficient amount of operating losses and these losses will also form the financing that you will need to start the business and when you will start uh, playing with these values you will be able to see how much additional financing you may need to start the business what will be the accurate uh, value of financing needed for your project so this is very important uh, playing with these uh, values uh, see the uh, see the gap of uh, see the uh, see what is minimum what is maximum of financing needed if we uh, reach uh, the plant revenue fast or uh, not so fast or uh, so different different uh, you will be playing with different scenarios and uh, you will uh, you will you will learn uh, a lot about your uh, business idea playing with these numbers um, so um, if you find this video valuable uh, you may give us a like subscribe our channel share this video with your friends also you can order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas we can help you with that so see you guys uh, in next videos thank you and bye